Hi Taurus, how are you? Let's see what energies and messages we have for you today. What messages and energies do you have for the sign of Taurus, please? Energies and messages for the sign of Taurus concerning love. Messages and... Ooh. Excuse me. Four or five there, two minutes. I'll put them back. If they're meant to come out, they'll come out again. Energies and messages concerning love, please, for the sign of Taurus. The world. Cycle closing, new one opening up. Knight of Pentacles, Tower. Four of Swords. I feel not much is happening between you and the person you're thinking about. Or dealing with. There is a Tower moment though. The Revelations. Six of Cups. Page of Swords. They're watching you. Facebook, Twitter, etc. Six of Wands, wow. Hmm. I kind of feel there's a, a test of commitment here. Things are very, very slow moving. I feel they could contact you out of the blue, but I don't feel as if there's been much contact for some of you of late. It's been pretty quiet. You've been kind of taking time out. I feel things are going to turn around for you, though. What I'm getting is they, they want to come towards you, but they're kind of looking back to where they were. There's a, there's a kind of a reluctance. It's like they're following their intuition, but there's they're they're being a bit sneaky in the sense that they're keeping a, a lot of what they're doing to the self. Kind of getting the feeling that you're you're thinking about somebody and you kind of wish you're kind of wishing that they would come back. At least so you can deal with the karma. I am getting this this person will will come out of the blue though and come out suddenly. You know, you'll get a sudden message out of nowhere. They'll kind of make a sudden decision to contact you. This, this is what I'm getting. Mm, interesting. Yeah, I'm feeling you're kind of stuck between two situations, two worlds. You, there's a situation you're in now, which is. Quite a nice home front, comfortable, safe and secure in the in the respect that it's kind of routine. Mm. Yeah, it's this ten of pentacles is I feel there's a lot of emotional reward here i am getting the i am get i am getting contentment but there's there's there is a test of commitment here nine of pentacles knight of pentacles mm. and you do you want to leave i'm feeling you want to leave this situation you're in and this is in the challenge position 
And, you know, if we're in a place where, you know, days are ticking over, we're going through a routine, we kind of in some ways get contented. I do get that in a funny sort of way you are drawn to this person from the past. Yeah, I've, I feel you will hear from them. And your life will take a turn in. And I think things are going to get busy. Uh, in the respect that you yeah, trying to maintain balance, trying to make a decision, trying to weigh up the pros and cons. It's kind of a, you, you want it one day, you're looking at it seriously, and then the next day you don't. It's kind of like a rocking motion. Yeah, there is some deep thought here, though. King of Swords. There's a very powerful card. You could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I am picking up a... Hmm, I am picking up resistance... You're trying to resist it, but you, you still kind of keep getting pulled towards this person, at least thinking about this person. It's as if you're trying to work a solution out that will keep everybody happy. Yeah, there's some... I feel here it will bring back some feelings from the past. This is what's causing this rocking motion. It'll stir up not only memories, but feelings from the past. It's kind of like a reawakening. You know, feelings that have been suppressed and in some cases forgotten. Yeah. Yeah, there's the thought pattern of walking away from a situation. I feel you two have gone through a period where, you know, you went through a bad patch together. This, I'm talking about you and the person from the past now, not your present. You went through a bad patch, fights, etc., etc., and you you kind of parted ways. You kind of got over it, and now it's coming back around. Hmm. I can see communication here. Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Yeah, they they're looking on you. Yeah. They're kind of looking on you with loving eyes. Ten of Cups. Page of Swords. So take this how it resonates. This, this is a general reading. So energies can work vice versa to you, towards you or from you. But there is some resistance here. Hmm. Yeah, they I'm still getting this that they, they'll come out of the blue and contact you suddenly. They want to build bridges. Yeah, I'm getting somebody wants to make a fresh start. Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands, commitment here. Forgiving and letting the past go. Whatever has gone on between you two in the past is, is kind of a forgiving and letting that go. Um...
I feel they could come with an apology. And I feel, you know, they genuinely want to start over. They genuinely want to kind of like a peace offering between you two and put the past behind you. Yeah. Six of Wands, Three of Cups. I yeah, I can see a reunion here for some of you. Now, before you put in the comments, my ex did this, my ex did that. No way, no way, Jose, etc., etc. As with all tarot readings, there's that element of free will. It's this choice is down to you. I feel with the the fact that you're trying to resist the pull towards this person from the past because you're in kind of a comfortable situation now and you're just getting your act together. You know, you're just starting to feel good in your own skin and confidence is growing, etc., etc. And then this comes out the blue. And this is kind of the challenge, the test. It's a personal test for you. But at the end of the day, it is your choice. I hope that's helped you. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.